thing. So, as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine, it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired and all of the, the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to, to criminally or civilly have you in court, they have no right, the best thing they can do is get you for a defamation. A defamation suit. Drag you in court. Make you pay their legal bills and get you in court. Now, I mean, at this point, man, this is the, this is the point where that don't even matter to me no more, okay? But that's the motive. That's the strategy. That's the intention. Say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um, that get people to believe and make them come out and say, they're a liar, they're a liar, they're a liar. And then they can say, see, they call me a liar. That's defamation. And they grab, drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you can prove you didn't. You know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society has made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be hurt. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drugged nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually trafficked anything. Um, I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Also, I'm gonna tell you what's uh, what's factual. I'll tell you what's factual. There have been fake stories put up. There are blog sites uh, uh, anonymously sent to this person. Blog sites anonymously sent. Fake stories to this person, and the person posted it as though it was a victim, that they were sure that it was a victim and it had been victimized. And what does what this does is it 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 it, it, it dismantles the mechanism that women have created for themselves. You can't weaponize something un like un like with, 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 with baseless claims. These are th these are not stories of actual events. They're not. And I have proof of that. And that's why I said it. I have proof of that. I have proof of people who have gone on live with this person. And they later said, man, I just wanted some clout. That's why I was, I can't believe they actually posted that shit. I just wanted some clout. So this is what we're dealing with, man. This is what we're dealing with. And also, I pose you a question. How are you going to be a victim and an attacker at the same time? How are you being victimized if you are violently attacking someone? Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. They deserve to feel comfortable and confident. They deserve to feel supported. And that's supposed to get them to a place where they can show their face and, and, and say, this is what happened to me. This is who did it. And, and so... 
the necessary steps can follow. This is not that. This is not that. Um, I also want you to know it's evil at play. I'm talking about evil. I'm talking like, you know, evil. And there's been a history. We had, this is, we had a history in Dylan with the particular individual in question. We had a history of it, man. Had a history of it. Uh, and there are, there is a record of pattern behavior like this, a record, a history of harassment. Not, 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 I'm talking about, listen, this is not my opinion. I'm just saying what's on record, a history of violence on record. And we can't just, you know, weaponize uh, uh, social media to, to take down people who have families and, and, and who, who, uh, who communities depend on. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about who, who, who have done everything that they can to uplift and help to, to evolve our communities. We can't tear our people down like that. And this has taught me a lot. This has taught me a lot. But one thing I know, man, I will not be bullied. I am not afraid. I am not ashamed. And I mean, and, and, and the truth will be revealed, man. But until then, man, and listen, man, any woman out there who's going through things, who have gone through things, if you have a story, and you you should come forward. You should, but don't lie, cause that 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 tear the whole the whole vehicle down. Don't lie. Don't lie. The truth is what needs to be heard. The truth. And I can deal with the truth all day. But at some point, man, it has to it has to be it has to be some sort of it got to be some something that happens if you come and make baseless claims that that, that are false about somebody that have a negative impact on them, their livelihood, or their freedom. Something got to be done about that. But I was built for this. I was born. I was born to be in this position. I was born to be in the position in this position to face pressure and sit in the fight so it benefits others in the future. I was born to be in the position. God put me here for this. So whatever evil has been conjured up to come against me, no weapon form, no weapon form against me. Shall prosper. But man, I got a lot of love for everybody who been calling me, who been in support of me and my wife. Um, shit, man, we'll be back to doing us, man, sooner than later. You dig what I'm saying? Love and respect. Well, there you go, your boy Tip, doing his thing, tipping it. Now. Tip just basically told the whole world him and his wife were swingers. That's all I heard. Out of that whole thing is that him and Tiny are a bunch of swingers. And whoever they swinging with, he wants everybody to know, is consensual. Now, T.I. don't strike me as the type of person who would share his wife with another man. He don't take me as that. But since they a swanging couple that he confirmed, I guarantee there are other women that he made this poor woman who wasn't in the women get involved in just so she could try to keep her husband. That's T.I., ladies and gentlemen. He loved black women so much that he got to share the women instead of him going out cheating. He make his wife so insecure, she go get all this plastic surgery, get all this stuff put in her lips, and then you still don't want her. So she agrees to make out with the chick you cheating with. As long as she's involved and you can just do it all at home. Also, you can stay with her and the family. Way to go, T.I. Yeah, black women really finna get behind you. 
And get this, y'all. Get this. T.I. got fans who went on this person, went up, made a fake story, and contacted this woman and said, yeah, he attacked me too. And next thing you know, making a whole fake story up. And the girl reposted because she don't know if it's fake or real. She's reposting it because that's what they saying that they did. And then T.I. is stupid enough to post it on his page. Like, look, man, look at all these fake stories coming out about me. Dude, y'all sending fake stories over there. <laughs> y'all sending fake stories over there. Somebody tweeted. They don't know. They didn't go fact check if it's real or not. Why would you want somebody to make a fake story about y'all attacking him in the first place? Just be like, man, the blog sites are sending them all these fake stories. You know what that does? That takes away from all the crimes that have happened to real women. That takes the light off of it. It makes it a joke. People doing anything for clout. Now, as far as all this sex trafficking stuff, T.I. and Tiny are not sex traffickers. <laughs> no. Now, are they... Now, are they swingers? Yeah. <laughs> but could you imagine them trying to even negotiate, uh, trying to get involved in something like that? They wouldn't even know how to do it. Now, now, what? Now, how we gonna get this done? Cause I gotta get back to the house and I gotta take care of my kids. I can't. I ain't got time to be stuck in no traffic. No, baby, it's it's no, it's sex trafficking. That means that no, it's not the traffic. You ain't gotta be in traps, baby. Listen. <laughs> so that conversation right there will be going left from the jump. <laughs> they would never be in that type of situation. Those two. So I could not imagine Tiny going for any of the stuff that they talking about. Um, what else is on the menu? Hmm. T.I. has gotten away with this fake persona for so long. And it's like he's so woke, he's so involved, he's so pro-black that when these situations come up, he had to run and hide till he got to the point where he had to say something because he basically let his wife out there knowing that the person that they talking about actually know them. And talking about this person that we talking about got a history of violence. It's on record. She got a history of violence. Yeah, she got a history of violence. You don't. You supposed to be the gangster rap. She got a history of violence. <laughs> and why was she violent? Because she was riding for your wife. Because you was out there messing around with the assistant. And she put it on the assistant and you took up for the assistant. So if you're going to tell it, tip, tell it all. Tell it, tell what really went down. Don't get out here and tell half truths and some of the truth. You did eight minutes of nothing. You did eight minutes of nothing. That's all you did. You wasted eight minutes of people's time out of their lives. Telling them a bunch of stuff that was about absolutely nothing. First, you never stated any other things except for, hey, we never raped nobody. That's good. I don't believe you did any of that stuff either. But they write about one thing. You should not be the face of anything involving black women. That's a fact. You should not be, you should have disqualified yourself from that picture altogether. 
And then you can go on doing all these menage a things with with uh, Tiny and all that. You can get all into your swinging thing. That's your business and your house and your bedroom. Y'all want to keep on swinging? Y'all keep on swinging. But you keep treating your wife like that. One day, one day, she ain't going to be there no more. And you so insecure, you going to mess up one time and share your wife with another man and because you want the other man's wife so bad, and you're going to find something out. When you hit her climax, <laughs> harder than she ever climaxed, and she ain't never made that sound with you, that's going to mess with your head, boy. And that's going to mess with it for life. That'll alter your whole relationship. Trust me. No people who went through this. And it altered their relationship. Now. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. It's your boy Carcino. Telling everybody out there, don't listen to tip. <laughs> Wait till the evidence come out and see what happens. Do I think Tiny and Tip did anything illegal as far as trafficking and all that? No. Do I believe that they are the face uh, or have anything to do with the empowerment of black women? Absolutely not. Race that all together. Like, anything with him and black women, forget that. Mm -mm. Not tip. So, anybody else they want to get to be the martyr or the face, go on here, but not him. He is not the example. Now, I'm a roll. Hopefully you guys are on the Patreon. We got the Desiree Perez situation kicking off there. So that's the conversation people want to have. So hit, definitely hit it up. It's the Carcino for Life on Patreon page. And definitely uh, hit my cash app up. It's Carcino. We want to donate to the cash app. Like button is free. Subscribing is free. We out.